so as you can see price was trading around here if we go to the weekly time frame you see clearly this is the dollar index by the way so price was trading around here at this demand zone when nfp and then cpi came out which actually pushed price downward and i'll be expecting this downward move to continue next week there's no doubt the dollar index is in a bullish trend i mean if we go back to the monthly time frame you can easily tell that price is in a bullish trend let me map it out so that i can see properly from the bottom here price has been creating new highs and here we got a double bottom and then we created a new high here and then price came back into this zone right and of course i was expecting price to continue pushing higher all right but as we already know price movement is always dynamic so for all i care what may be playing out now is a double bottom to continue pushing higher because as it stands right now like i said we are still in a bullish trend on the higher time frame however we are bearish right when we go to the lower time frames it doesn't mean that obviously price is falling um as we even can see on this monthly time frame right here and then we should still be buying except maybe you bought from a lower price around here right but if you got in anywhere around here then you should know that you should be selling by now right even though on the bigger picture we are bullish doesn't change the fact that on the smaller time frames you shouldn't be selling by selling now i mean trading against the us dollar right but as it stands on the bigger picture it looks like we are in for a double bottom before we continue higher however if we break below this low here and we create a new lower low here then we are in a full-fledged downtrend at least until we come into the 89.475 area which is around here i hope that makes sense now this is the monthly time frame outlook but remember i said earlier that i'm expecting a continuous downward push for next week now if we go to the weekly time frame sorry my chart looks a little bit messy but uh all these lines you see here mean something all right and i'm going to delete them after this analysis so that i can have a clean chart but uh let me use these lines here to explain what i am looking at for the incoming week as you can see price has tested this trend line at least twice historically right so for all like here price may be coming back into that trend line before we continue higher but if we break below the trend line right then i'll be expecting the retest into this area before we continue downward I hope you see what i'm doing right here right as a good trader you should be thinking in probabilities at this point of course on the bigger picture price is in a bullish trend right but on the lower time frames price is selling as we speak so how can we take advantage of all this price movement in the market remember this is a weekly analysis not a monthly or a yearly analysis right so i come in here every week to tell you what i'm expecting to see in the new week right but i'm stating this clearly that in the new week i'm expecting price to keep pushing lower so if we keep pushing lower where will i be expecting price to come into before we either go bullish or confirm that we are now in a full-fledged downtrend but don't forget the fact we are still in an uptrend i mean even on this weekly time frame price just created a new higher high here which is obviously higher than this and these areas here right so even if price comes into this trend line and into this zone right and we continue higher we are still in a bullish trend i'm taking my time to analyze dxy right now because it affects the dollar pairs right so if dollar index is bearish then expect pairs like euro usd gbp usd nzd usd aud usd to be bullish i hope that makes sense all right so should we continue lower i'll be expecting for price to come into this area which is the 102 point 152 and 101.556 area before we continue bullish however if we broke below that trend line and th that particular those areas i just mentioned um earlier then i'll be expecting for price to continue downward with our first target being um 99.542 all right so that's on the weekly time frame let's check out what is happening on the daily time frame 
so on the daily time frame we ranged around here even within the range we created um lower lows right as you can see around here which is obviously lower than here all right then we created sorry lower high and then we created a lower low then we went back to create a new lower high and now we have a lower low all right so for next week i will expect price to continue falling into this region but before we come into this region this is another area i am looking at which is the 103.040 sorry for my message chat guys like i said earlier i just want to point out my zones all right after this analysis i'll definitely clean up my chart all right so next week i'll be expecting for price to surely fall into 103.040 area if we take that out then we are coming into these zones which is 102.152 and 101.556 let's check out the four hour time frame so on the four hour time frame i remember sending out this chart on the telegram channel a few days ago or so when price was trading around here so i plotted this fibonacci retracement level from the recent swing high to the recent swing low right and then i was like i'll be expecting price to pull up into the 0 0.5 fib level you can see the screenshot right now on your screen and then we'll drop from there and that's exactly what price did right and price played out perfectly now on this four hour time frame you can obviously see that we've created a double top chart pattern here and now we have a new lower low here which is obviously lower than these lows here all right so next week i'll be expecting for price to continue pushing lower but before we do that i would like to see a pullback into this neckline right this neckline I'll be expecting this to see a pullback into that zone before we continue lower. However, should price decide for whatever reason to continue pushing higher, then I would like to see price create a new higher high here, which is obviously higher than this zone, right? Now, when I see this, all I'll be expecting next is for price to pull back into that area, all right, before I continue pushing to the upside. Guys, as a good Forex trader, always think in probability because the market is not like high used to be price moves erratically at least that is the current market situation we are in at the moment so always remember that thinking probabilities if this doesn't play out then this is what i would like to see if that doesn't play out then this is what i would like to see sorry guys i've spent a lot of time on dxy it is important like i mentioned earlier because it decides the movement on the dollar pairs all right now that we've seen what is happening on the dollar index which is as um, i'll be expecting a continuous downward push next week let's quickly take a look at some dollar pairs starting with the euro usd now the euro usd on the monthly time frame um price is clearly in a downtrend if you're wondering what i'm talking about i mean we have a lower low here then a lower high and i was expecting price to continue lower however i was also aware of the fact that this is a dangerous zone that has been tested multiple times historically so should price come into that zone and i start experiencing this tall in price around that area then i'll know that price is reacting to this level like i said earlier of course i was expecting for price to continue lower but when i spotted this weakness last month with this dodgy candle i knew that there's danger ahead which means price may most likely push up from that zone so as we stand now price is still in a downtrend until we create a new higher high which should be obviously higher than this at that point i will know that we are in a full-fledged uptrend so so as it stands currently for all i care price may want to create a double top before we fall to the downside maybe price is just trying to come and attempt this zone for a double top before we continue lower so i want to be careful with that all right that doesn't mean we shouldn't be buying euro usd at the moment on the lower time frames which i'm going to show you in a bit now let's look at the weekly time frame now on the weekly time frame price is also in a clear downtrend i mean between this zone and this zone price created a new lower low so until we break above this zone 
we are still in a downtrend but like i said earlier that doesn't mean we shouldn't be benefiting from this buy all right but there's something interesting i want to show us on euro usd price clearly broke out of this trend line on the weekly time frame creating a new lower low here and now it looks like price is going back to retest that trend line that confluences with the 0.618 fibonacci retracement level so i want to watch what price does here because now that we are testing this trend line we may just collapse from there so that is a possibility i want you to watch out for that now we are on the daily time frame the same thing applies we created a new lower low now we are back at that trend line so of course price can easily just keep pushing lower from there because that trend line actually aligns with the 0 0.6 fib level and this multiple touches that price has created here all right so price may come into this zone or tap into the 0 0.6 fib level before we fall to the downside so bear that in mind and why do i have this here i have this here just to remind you that even though price looks to be super bullish here there's every possibility that price may tap into this 0 0.6 level like this right tap into it and then come back with a sharp decline to close with an engulfing candle like this illustration right here so please bear that in mind if we see this if we spot this type of rejection then um after this daily candlestick close we can now maybe in the next day go to a lower time frame and start looking for selling opportunities i don't know if i'm making sense with all of that let's check out the four hour time frame then on the four hour time frame you can see we are right at that zone the resistance level and the trend line that was previously broken right however if we break clean of that trend line and this zone if we break clean of it then i'll be expecting a pullback and i'll be looking for buys around here this was a trade we took on the swing trading signal last two weeks i even mentioned it in last week's video let's check it out i'm actually still in a buy trade on euro usd i mean i bought on tuesday and price has been moving sideways ever since because in the early part of last week price actually price had created this new higher high last two weeks right so i was expecting a pull back into this zone just like i said last week and price did come back into that zone then i executed around here on tuesday night yeah i remember vividly and price has been moving sideways ever since however should price continue higher then 1.08 339 is going to be my target this is a swing trade anyways not on my prop front it took over a week to play out but we eventually booked a solid one to three reward to risk on this trade so personally i risked three percent per trade on my swing account so i personally made nine percent on this particular trade now let's get back to the analysis let's look at what we look like on the 15 minutes time frame i think there's nothing much to say on the 15 minutes time frame i actually didn't take this trade but i was with my students i was with a friend of mine that is also a student right so he i was teaching him a particular strategy i use on my swing account sorry on my um day trading which is my prop firm account and he actually took the trade and it played out perfectly quick two to one reward to risk right here and that reminds me guys i'm so sorry for not dropping any signal i mentioned this last week remember i promised to drop free signals on my prop firms and stuff like that and i've not been able to do that i have some project like i have some people i want to surprise towards the end of the year so those projects are what has been keeping me um busy actually and um i missed some of the early trades i mean the first three trades which were profitable that i would have called on the telegram channel i miss them and usually i don't know maybe it's like a ritual for me i usually like to start trading at the beginning of the month so let's say um i missed out on some trades i usually just wait till the next month and that was exactly what happened right because the first three trades i should have called on the telegram channel played out perfectly and of course there are times you go into a losing streak within the month the most important part is to end the month in profit right so the first three trades already made a profit and i was like okay i don't want to call a trade that will eventually be the losing trade 
and um, I'm not always comfortable with that. So that is why I just want to restart my prop firm trading by December. All right. The free signal service is going to commence next month all right next month euro usd for next week let me go back to the higher time frame we want to be careful with this zone all right but bottom line is i'm expecting a bullish continuation next week now let's look at gbp usd gbp usd is similar to um euro usd gbp usd looks like we may be coming into this trend line on the monthly time frame this trend line you can see here so for all i care as it stands now price may be coming to this trend line to um form a double top around here before we collapse the downside however if we see a monthly candlestick close above this trend line then guys we are going up but for now on the bigger picture price is still in a downtrend right double top lower low created pull back before we continue lower right but if we go to the lower time frame obviously gbp usd is in a bullish trend let's check out the weekly time frame um on the weekly time frame for next week i'll be expecting price to continue pushing higher at least until we come into the 0 0.5 fibonacci retracement level now on the daily time frame pretty much the same with the weekly time frame price on the daily time frame has clearly created a double bottom a new higher high a new higher low a new higher high right so i'll be expecting for price to continue pushing until we come into the 0 0.5 fib level or this resistance above here so of course i predicted this downward move to this zone and now i'm telling you that price is going to continue higher so watch out for that now on the four hour time frame let's see what's happening on the four hour time frame um let's see let me put this here and this here all right all right perfect so we are cl we've closed above this four hour region here creating a double bottom in the process and now we've taken out the neckline right so next week i'll just be expecting a mini pullback before we continue higher at least until we come into the 1.25987 area all right my time is fast spent let me just go a little bit faster usd chf last week i told you that price was going to continue for drop into the downside and that's exactly what price has done on the daily time frame i also mentioned last week that price created a new higher high here so of course i expected price to continue pushing higher however price created a higher low a lower high right and that i was going to be expecting for price to push down into this area here but as a matter of fact price has broken below that area right creating a new lower low around here which is obviously lower than this right so for next week i'll be expecting for price to drop into 0 0.87865 area let's check out the four hour time frame so on the four hour time frame i specifically called your attention to this trend line last week you can go watch my last week's video so i told you that there are two possibilities if we come into this trend line and see a hard bounce maybe a bullish engulfing candle then we can continue buying at least until we come into this area here however if we take out this trend line then you want to go to the lower time frame like one hour 30 minutes 15 minutes to look for selling opportunities to the downside but now price pushed lower beyond my expectations so for next week i'll be expecting for price to continue falling to the downside with the 0 0.87874 area as my target now let's look at gold 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 on the monthly time frame i remember telling you that i'll be expecting this month to close bullish on gold and we are on course to achieving just that now let's check out the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame price has clearly created a new high here right because it's obviously higher than this and this right so have a new higher high 
probably this could be our higher low for us to continue pushing to the upside at least until we come into the 2074.16 area but we can see clearly on the weekly time frame so let's go to the daily time frame so on the daily time frame clearly we have a new higher high here which is obviously higher than this actually last week i was expecting for price to come into this area before we continue higher i never knew that price was going to like pull back from the exact spot it closed last week and why why i thought that way was simply because of the size the nature of fridays like friday i'm talking about last two weeks right friday's candlestick for that last two weeks so i was like okay with this type of volume then price will probably come into this demand area here sorry into this demand area here before we continue higher but something else happened price actually did respect that zone all right and clearly we're bullish throughout last week so let's go to the four hour time frame so on the four hour time frame we have a trend line around here but before i talk about the trend line last last two weeks price dropped significantly simply because of the head and shoulders pattern right and price fulfilled that obligation however price has been bullish ever since you can spot this impulsive move to the upside creating new higher highs higher low higher high right so for next week i'll be expecting for price to respect this trend line because price has actually tested that trend line and i'll be expecting a push to the upside so what if that doesn't happen what if price fails to respect this trend line then i'll be waiting for price to drop into this demand zone below around here all right so that means i'll be expecting to see something like this before we continue higher all right remember market structure price moves like this sorry remember market structure price moves high higher low higher high higher low which is coming back to retest here then higher high right then i'll be expecting for price to come back into that zone before we continue bullish so this is what i'm expecting to see here high higher low higher high higher low come back and retest this zone higher low before we continue higher so on gold next week i'm bullish all right and these are the two zones i'll be expecting to see a bullish continuation for so guys if you've made it this far and you are yet to subscribe do the needful guys i know you love this content so please do that and encourage us so last on my list for the week is nas 100 nas 100 so far for the month because we're on the monthly time frame so far for the month price is super bullish super bullish i mean this bullish candle has successfully engulfed one two three previous months of bearish price action all right but let's go to the weekly time frame so that we can see things clearly so yeah i remember sent, sending out this setup on the telegram channel at the time i was actually because i won't come here and lie to you at the time i was actually expecting for price to come into this area that confluences with this either 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 fib level before we continue higher however price had other plans now let's go to the daily time frame to see that other plan so you can spot the impulsive move on the daily time frame and what can you notice on the daily time frame we've created a new higher high here which is obviously higher than the previous swing high so two things i'll be expecting next week is to see price break out of this zone come back for a retest before we shoot to the upside here which is around um 16759.80 area so what happens if we don't continue higher like that right what if there's a pullback before we continue higher then i'll be expecting to see price come into this zone here which is one and then this will be my other zone which is two i want to explain something now now i'll be willing but i'm not going to be trading nas 100 right i mostly trade euro usd at the moment so that's what i'll be focused on but if i were to trade nas 100 so i'll be willing to pay around here and here all right because i don't want to move miss any of the move so you see that price comes here gives me my entry reason and then i jump into the trade 
right and price goes against me fine i'm willing to take that loss but my last line of defense is going to be this zone down below here so if i hit stop loss let's say i enter the trade around this first level here then this will be my second level to get an entry to the upside all right so the two levels i'm looking at is number one 15504.30 area or 15291.36 area so if they take my money at the first entry then i'll be expecting to recoup it at the second entry so the only thing standing in our way from pushing to the upside because my overall target for now is 16759.80 so the only thing standing in our way from arriving at our final destination is this zone here which is around 15962 area all right because it's a strong resistance zone so that area may be very very difficult to break out of before we continue higher so we may first of all experience a pullback before we continue higher all right let's see how that plays out so if we go to the four hour time frame it's pretty the same with the daily time frame so this green zone above here which is the resistance is still the determining factor but remember what i said on the daily time frame i'll if should price continue lower then i'll be expecting to see price push lower into here right before we continue higher i hope that makes sense i'm sorry guys i'm beginning to slow down because i'm recording this late in the night so i'm kind of feeling sleepy at the moment but so since this is the last thing i'm looking at and you already know my bias for the incoming week which is bullish at least now we know what we should be looking out for in the incoming week so guys if you've made it to the end of this video i really really appreciate you and if you want to be able to do this effortlessly then you want to consider enrolling in our mentorship program because it's definitely going to do you a lot of good i'm so sorry that this video is very very lengthy but i hope you enjoy it and from all of us at less trade i wish you a successful trading week ahead bye guys